where are we? So what we started with is a BTP. So we learned that um, as a part of BTP, we do have two kind of uh, destination where we can connect. One is cockpit HANA trial on demand. This is for trial account. In case we want to go with the real one, we can have a cockpit.hana.on demand. So this would be a real account. Okay. So using which we would be able to connect to our SAP BTP cockpit. So this SAP BTP cockpit, you can visualize of a, uh, I can say latest version, new version of a SAP cloud platform, the SAP SCP, right? Then we learned that we do have, if we do have a trial account, we can go within this. In case we do have a real account, we can also go with that. All the accounts are divided into two blocks. Okay, all the accounts are ultimately divided into a global account. A global account would be something that you can consider as your company, your organization, your firm, its relevant subsidiaries. For all of those, you can have a dedicated global account. Those global account can have multiple sub account within that. Okay, so for example, you do have an organization and as a part of which you want to create multiple sub account for your multiple systems, multiple system landscapes, dev quality production. Likewise, you can do that. How you can create those environment uh, who would be providing that platform for you to actually manage all your processes. What we can consider it as a platform as a service. So who would be that provider? That is something we can consider it as a provider or in terms of a BTP, we can also call it as a data centers. So let's just say Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure belonging to this region. So let's just say AWS is providing service in a US, Europe, everywhere. So let's just say we have subscribed for this as it may be a nearby one. So just to remove any or reduce any sort of latency, cost wise it is of um, uh, comparatively uh, very reasonable. That's why uh, it's we are finding it very affordable. Likewise, we can choose any combination of a region and a provider whatever our organization ready uh, is getting ready to pay for. As a part of its sub account, everything and anything that we would be configuring would be uh, available. So for example, if I just go in the dev system that we were playing around earlier. Okay, then we would have multiple informations over here. For example, we would have multiple entitlements. So entitlements are nothing but you can think of for any system to work. What we would need is a resources. So all those resources you can think of an entitlement. So let's just say I do have a cloud foundry runtime memory allocated as a 2 GB quota and likewise. OK, so all those entitlements you would be able to see in the entitlement and we also learn how we can maintain those in case we want to subscribe for any sort of services. We also do have an option of subscribing for any services. So there would be plenty of services that you can subscribe for. Now, if you see there are there is only limited amount of service I can see over here. But when I go to this is my dev system, uh, which is connected to my uh, Microsoft Azure Singapore. There is this uh, trial one which I created that is connected to Amazon Web Services US East. Here if I go to my service marketplace. Here I can see. There are 53 uh, services which this particular uh, sub account is uh, capable to handle because its data provider is providing us these services. So depending on whatever data center you choose, okay, you would be able to uh, utilize those services or other way around. If you see whatever services you are actually willing to uh, use, depending on you should be choosing your uh, data center while creating any sort of sub account. Of course, it would come at a cost. OK, that is something that we should also keep in mind. Now afterward, um, any sort of services that we subscribe for or let's just say if I just go over here. So these are I can say your um, marketplace. It is where everything is available. Whatever is being provided is available now out of which if you create an instance of something or if you are subscribing for something. That would be that would be available in the instances and subscription. OK, so for example, here we don't have any sort of subscription. Let's just say if I subscribe for a business application studio here, it would start appearing. If I have a service. For which I have created an instance for which I am. Uh, uh, let's just say I am developing a cap 
application and it's just start running where that instance of the running service would be visible so it would be available over here okay and any sort of environment that we create so for example we created a cloud foundry runtime environment right how we did that we created the cloud foundry runtime environment and it created this particular instance as a cloud foundry runtime and those everything we already enabled some time back in the earlier session using over here the cloud foundry runtime there was an enable button and we it is pointing to the data center that we enrolled for okay we do have an option of uh, monitoring those service in case of a ui service we would be able to monitor it over here in the html file we would be going through it uh, step by step in case of any sort of connection we can go with the destination and cloud connector and for all the user role assignment we can go over here all the entitlement that we were talking till now as we discuss we can configure it over here in case you want to increase or decrease some sort of resources those are allocated for this particular space to run there is something we would be finding over here in the entitlements one last step then we would be starting uh, or let's just the last thing maybe that we discussed earlier is whenever i have a sub account created so that sub account can also be divided into multiple spaces so let's just say i do have a dev space i just created for my actual development i can also create some sort of test space in the same client like we have a dev environment in the dev environment i can have a um, let's just say development client as well as testing client in the same landscape okay same way we can also have it over here and this dev space we can create over here and it would be ultimately having all its particular uh, component and then here we ultimately created the uh hana database and everything we created it as a part of i guess trial so there's that is where we would be able to see as it is a trial account we would have a limited amount of resources because it is coming as a free of cost okay now what we are going to have uh, say over here is uh let's just say yep let's just start with a configuring um let's just say abap environment first because abap environment is something that we won't be going too deeper then we would be going with business application studio that is that would be our main focus going forward now one of main or let's just say one more observation we had over here is um, microsoft azure is providing us bit of limited bit of limited services bit of limited service in the marketplace but uh, when i compare it with the amazon web services it is having a uh, a very good amount of um, let's just say uh services which are being provided the business application studio and abap runtime environment are also one of them that as per current observation it is not available over here if i just go over here because it's trial right so something would be there something would not be there but let's just focus on something which is having giving us broader exposure so it would help us while learning so here if you see here we do have very limited so we would be going with the amazon web services so if you are creating your uh trial account i'll suggest go with the amazon web services uh, while creating your sub account let's just go with this trial one now here if i go in the service marketplace then we do have a, a something called a service called abap environment okay now you would have heard of many terminology called abap on cloud wow okay so abap on cloud is something like whatever development that we are doing which is currently linked for our s4 hana all those in our sap gui is a on premise development that we are doing but when i want to connect to my abap but i want to go with those development on a cloud basis it means whatever thing i develop should not uh, should be available on cloud i should be reusing the resources of the cloud i should be able to um, deploy anything and everything that i am developing on a cloud basis so that is called abap on cloud like we do have a sap gui here we don't have a sap gui instead we do have a environment called abap environment that we can use it we can create an instance uh so if you just go and check okay what are the options over here so if you see this is abap trial account and here one instance is something that i had created earlier let okay let me just delete that 
So if you just go in the instances. OK, here if you see I do have a default ABAP trial. I'll just delete this view. Try creating it from the scratch. OK, I'll explain you what it is before. Let me just delete this and then maybe it would be easy for us to actually understood that. From going from a perspective that it doesn't exist. Because I had done this <coughs> on a real account. I was just trying to check okay whether it's working on a trial account before actually presenting it to you. So at least we should not have any confusion. The service key has entry. It's not buddy. It's not a default ABAP trial. Ding, ding. OK, so we are going with a. Uh, service marketplace we are if you open this. Now we are able to see that we don't have any short of active account available over here. Now I want to create an account. What does it say a web trial? I'll just create one. If you see it says a web environment. The plan over here is a shared one because it's a trial account. We are choosing the runtime as a cloud foundry. We do have multiple options, but as I mentioned earlier, the Kubernetes, Kaima, or any sort of other runtime environment, or you can say compilation engine. The runtime environment, you can think of a compilation engine. So I'll just mute all of us just to avoid any disturbance. You can unmute yourself anytime. Now, Runtime environment, you can think of a compilation engine. Cloud Foundry has a capability. It has pre designed uh, infrastructure, pre designed logic to handle any sort of um, uh, runtime execution. That's why Cloud Foundry is the most preferred one and most used one. So we would be going with that. We can say uh, default ABAP environment. I just say trial. I'll just go next. Here it would ask you for the email ID because whenever you are logging with the Eclipse, it would try to connect it with this. So I can say I'll pass my email ID. I'll just create. So this environment should get created. You should be able to view the instance while it is getting created. When you click on view instance, where it is taking you, if you see it's going into instance subscription, and here. If you see it's a default ABAP environment trial, right? If I just open this. Then what does it have? It is an empty environment that just got created. Now I want to connect it. So if I say I want to connect it with Eclipse. Where I'll be going, I'll be going in Eclipse. OK, for example, I'm going over here. And now. Now as I had connect tried connecting some uh, it's some time back. Let's just say if I try again creating one my uh, one more project. Let's just say in case of a ABAP premises or let's just say in the terms of Eclipse. What is a ABAP project? ABAP project is your development workspace that you are creating for all your development which is connected to your on premise system that is ABAP project. It can be connected like over here S4H 800 with this user ID. It can be connected with S4H 800 to use this user ID. These are your on premise system. Using the same Eclipse, I can also connect to my cloud system. For connecting to cloud system, you have to connect, uh, create a ABAP cloud project. There is an option of a, either you can log in directly or you can choose a service key. So, in case you want to go with a service key, if I just go next, then there is an option of uploading it. Then I have to create one. So if I just create a service key, it would say service keys over here. I'll just create one. It would say default ABAP key. And I'll just create this. Initially, it would be unknown because the key would get generated. Either you can pass your all the parameters that would be a very huge JSON format that we would be creating. So better let SAP 
does that so it ensures that there is no duplicacy if i just view this if you see a uh, uh, full credential login credential just got created it has everything and anything that needs uh, the identity any sort of identity that it needs of the platform that would be available over here so if i just go over here and just reopen okay, let's just refresh In the service key, if you see, I do have it created. Now, I want to connect this system to my Eclipse. A BAP on cloud is something that I want to configure. I'll just download this. I have it downloaded, default a BAP service key. Can you see that? Let me just import this. Now I can see it over here, default a BAP service key. And I'll just open this. I'll just say next. Now I have to log in so I can say open log on page. It would fetch the system information, populate everything. It would create a dedicated user ID for you. So it seems like a normal SAP system that we used to have earlier. I'll just say next. To check the connectivity upon next, you can give any sort of project name. For example, you can keep it like this, or I can say AOH uh, Cloud. I'll just say finish. Okay, so it just created a cloud account for me, and I am able to use this. Now, if you see, just before some time, I tried creating a uh, same trial account that it linked to the same one. But as it is a shared version of the cloud, as it you are working on the trial, it's a shared version. If you are not working on the uh, actual paid version of a BTP, you would have a dedicated account. So for each and every account that are being created on BTP comes at a cost. Okay, that's why BTP uh, trial gives a shared account that multiple people would be using. So if I now open this system, it would look the same as that of the normal one. Okay, and let's just say I want to see what all things does it contain. It would allow me creation of anything starting from a package to any sort of dedicated object. Okay, I can say, okay, let's just say in case of a release object, if I want to see what all things does it contain, these are all the components which are on cloud. I don't have my local system connected to it. Is it has a dictionary? It has CDS views connected, created. It just say it has a database table. So currently there are two database table which I can see has been created. Someone has created this table. It would have some sort of data. Okay, and we would have multiple CDS views and everything also available over here. And if I want to create anything, you can go ahead and create anything as you used to create earlier. There is no difference as such. Let's just say if I want to create a CDS view, you can do that. 